this is a really cool application I found on the Play Store, I think. And it's 99 cents. And it's like the type of thing I was hoping for. Um, well, I first tried VR, and I couldn't find anything like it, but here's one. <laughs> and uh, this, let's see, I like the nighttime locations or whatever, the sunset type thing, so that gets rid of your iPad on Android. You can play music, very relaxing music. And it's uh, fairly immersive. Uh, best bet is to put yourself in the position that uh, you're in in the um, application to get the most immersive experience, or one of those. That That's one thing you can do. It really helps. Um, so, the funny thing I noticed in here, do you remember in uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, <laughs> they bragged about they had fish? Well, you know, it's my cell phone. In this application, you'll see fish floating around the water, so kudos, you have fish. <laughs> you just need some dogs. Anyways, so the application is very nice. The uh, graphics look really good. The frame rate seems fine. It's not Oculus 60 frames per second, so that takes you a little out of it. Normally don't get that. So shadows look really nice. Nice detail on the uh, the wood. And apparently I haven't showered in ages. So gotta hit the showers. Maybe I should just jump in the water. See, look, look over there. I'm pointing at a fish. There it is. See, it's a major thing when you have fish. Where's the dogs? <laughs> Anyways, so you also have uh, up in the sky, you'll see birds, which is really cool. They have these birds floating around. It's really nice, especially if you live in a shitty ass apartment with roaches. <laughs> you know, you, you want to be in a nicer place. Uh, this is really cool. I don't know what the fuck's going on with that water, though. Looks like uh, somebody had an oil spill or something. Oh well, as long as I don't have to swim in it, I don't give a fuck. Alright, so, yeah. There you go. The drift is not really, there's not really a bad issue with drift. It's, it seems like there's a little bit, slightly, like, if you move your head, it'll go off the center a little bit, but it's not. It's actually quite good. Um... My device has a 2K screen, and uh, there's a little bit of, um, and you can't really do much about it, but there's a little bit of a screen door effect. Um, that's because of the resolution. But it's not as bad as my older, older phones. And, uh, yeah. It's really cool. Let me change locations. Uh, change locations to, let's go for something that's in the sun, on the beach, where I'm laying down. I'm, I'm on my bed, so. <clears throat> ah! And there I am, laying down, and I can look at the sky. And I can look up and my neck will hurt. Look at the sun, it's really cool, it just moves around and stuff. tree looks a little funny. Graphics are kind of funny. It's like glitchy or something. But, yeah. If I prop myself up a little better, it would be a better uh, thing. But there's the birds flying around. <laughs> I really like this app. It's awesome. Unfortunately, you have to return to real life. And my headphones and the big thing on my face is kind of heavy, but yeah, so 
I was going to make a sandcastle, but I can't get out of this fucking chair. You know. Oh, let me get this huge iPad out of my face. So this way it, uh, you can see everything. There's a little... Is that a gazebo or something? And then... Yeah, more flying birds. And you can have this setting in uh, the, the same... Same uh, sunset kind of thing. Ugh, I got a stuffy nose. Also, the had the uh, headset was a little funny. It was also on top of my nose in a way that was making me a little nasally, but I also have a stuffy nose. Uh, really need to take a shower. For the love of God. You can see that. You can see my rib cage is sticking out. Like, you know, I, I friggin' uh, starved myself. I gotta get on the beach. I have to throw up. So my rib cage will stick out. This guy needs to eat a sandwich. Seriously. I love the music. I love that they put a boom ba box there so it makes sense. Some apps just have random music playing in the background. It kind of takes me out of it. But, uh, this is cool. Let me change the, uh, time of day. Uh, this is the daytime one. So here's the nighttime, or the sunset one. So, again, get the iPad out of my face. I think I shifted, uh, places here. Yep, I shifted a bit. <laughs> That's a little annoying. But yeah, it's the same same thing, just with the sunset. It's really cool. And if you just, you know, actually relax instead of moving everywhere like an ADD psychopath, it should be actually really cool. La. Hello, stars. And birds. Get my shotgun. I don't even have one, but whatever. I'll get one anyways. Just take those birds down. I'd be like, fucking duck hunt. Like, Shut the fuck up, you damn dog. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that's this app. I just wanted to show it because I thought it was really cool and it was kind of like what I was thinking of. The type of app that I wanted for VR. And if I could get something like this at 60 frames per second at the least, that would be even better. With a bigger phone. Because I can see the sides of the screen a little bit. <sighs> that kind of ruins it. And the screen door effect thing is not so... Great, but there's not much you can do about that unless you have a super, super high res phone. I don't even know if they make one that high res. Even I don't even think 4K is high enough for for VR. Uh, if I'm correct, I don't know. But uh, it's a lot cheaper than the Oculus. <laughs> uh, Oculus is a little expensive. You don't have a million, jillion dollar computer and uh, whatever. So for poor people like us. With roaches in our apartments, this works. <laughs> so, anyways, I want to link to the app. Uh, have a good day, and I have to unfortunately return to the real world. <laughs> and it sucks. Um, back to main menu. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to relieve the app first. Uh, leave, I'm going to stop the recording first so that my recording doesn't get fucked up for some reason. Because it's going to rotate or something. Whatever. Thank you for watching.